Hello everyone, this is American Idioms Part 85. This is the 85th video in my American Idioms series, and like the others, I'll present five idioms to you numbered 421 to 425. But first, I'll give you a chance to guess their meanings. Then I'll give you the answers along with an additional example for each new idiom. I also recommend that you pause the video at each question to give yourself some extra time to think of the answers. Now, are you ready? Okay, let's go. Number 421. On a shoestring. And the example is, I lived on a shoestring when I first moved to Manhattan, but after I got a good job, Things were much easier for me. Can you guess the meaning? And the answer here is B, on or within a very tight financial budget. This is what it means if you, in this case, live on a shoestring. It means that things are very tight financially, like in our example. The person is talking about how when they first moved to Manhattan, which is very expensive, it was very difficult for them financially. But after they got a good job, it was easier because they no longer had to live on a shoestring or a tight budget. Here's another example. My dad started his business on a shoestring, and it's amazing how large it has grown since then. Okay, in this example, this person's father started their business on a shoestring, meaning they had a very tight budget, okay? But then it grew into this large company that this person is amazed about, okay? That's what it means if you, in this case, start on a shoestring or begin something on a shoestring. All right, now for our next example, number 422, a road map. And the example is, the president provided a road map to address the homeless problem in our big cities. But will Congress follow it? Can you guess the meaning? And the answer here is C, a plan or set of guidelines for something. Well, in this case, it's a plan for a way to fix this homeless problem that was happening or is happening in big cities. Okay, the president gave a roadmap or a set of guidelines on how to, let's say, fix this problem. Like our next example. A good business plan is the best roadmap to start a new company. All right, so a business plan is a plan, all right, or a set of guidelines or a roadmap, okay, to start a new company, all right? This is how it's used. Just think about a plan. That's like the roadmap. All right, and now for number 423. To work to something. And the example is, we have to work to a strict timeline if we want to make our deadline on this project. Can you guess the meaning? And the answer here is C to follow a particular schedule or procedure while working. That's what it means if you work to something, you're following a schedule, right? Like in our example, we're talking about following a strict timeline. That's the schedule they're gonna follow so they can make their deadline, okay? They're working to this strict timeline. 
Got it? Here's another example. We were able to work to a budget on our last project, and it helped us save a lot of money. Okay, so they're working to a budget. That's what their procedure was when they were doing this project, working to a budget. Okay, and because of that, they were able to save money. All right, and now for number 424, something is not rocket science. And the example is, designing a website is a lot of work, but it is not rocket science. Anyone can do it. Can you guess the meaning? And the answer here is C, to not require a great deal of intelligence. That's what it means. Rocket science requires a great deal of intelligence, right? You have to be very smart. But if we say in our expression something is not rocket science, then it's anybody can do it. Like our example, they're talking about how you can design a website now. It's a lot of work, but it's not rocket science, right? It doesn't take or require a great deal of intelligence. All right? Here's another example. I thought upgrading the operating system on my computer would be very difficult. But after I did it, I learned that it's not rocket science. Okay, so this person easily upgraded their operating system. They thought it was going to be difficult, but it wasn't. And they used the expression, not, it wasn't rocket science. Okay, got it? And now for our final idiom, number 425. From here on out. And the example is, our teacher warned us that from here on out, no one would be allowed into her class if they were 10 minutes late. Can you guess the meaning? The answer here is B, from this moment and continuing into the future. Like in our example, the teacher says, from now on, right? from here on out, which means from this moment, continuing into the future, if anyone is 10 minutes late, they're not gonna get into the classroom, okay? Very strict teacher, okay? That's what it means, from here on out. Like our next example. After many unseen problems, the production of our new software program is back on schedule. And from here on out, things should function smoothly for us. All right, from this time and continuing into the future, in this case, things will function smoothly. Got it? That's all for this video. Thanks again for subscribing and please like and share the video to support the channel. And remember what I always say, keep practicing. See you next time.